CD Projekt Red came out with a massive update regarding their upcoming projects and plans for sequels. The casual style of talking by the board members about their strategy for moving forward and expanding further beyond games into films, TV shows, and animes would make any casual or hardcore fans of the Red universe happy. But this huge ambitious commitment to deliver high quality content with the period of 6 years seems a little bit of a stretch. I was personally holding on to my thoughts for a while to see how others were reacting on the news because even though CD PR has damaged their reputation with their last project, Cyberpunk 2077, there are still some hardcore fans of CDPR who would support them and that also includes me. I love The Witcher and the 2077 universe and everything about it. I would consume any form of Witcher or Cyberpunk content any day, any time. I have watched the awful Netflix adaptation of The Witcher twice both seasons, but CDPR as a prestigious game studio needs a win and fast. CDPR might be one of the only AAA developers that believes in full transparency rather than secrecy. Their new strategy will not only control the overhyped expectations but will keep the fans happy over the coming years, as they are claiming. Their mission statement does have the confidence to deliver high quality content on time and these projects will obviously be expanding on the Witcher and Cyberpunk universes and also brand new IP that they are developing and I am going to speculate what kind of game that could be based on my research. In one of their recent videos, they gave an idea on how they are approaching game development and want to keep their popular franchises alive for a long time. Their most important step is to migrate from Red Engine 2.0 to Unreal Engine 5 which I think they should have done a long time back but due to deep involvement in the development process they were not able to. My perception is that they truly believed that they would have had a solid hit with 2077 but due to the limitation of the Red Engine it could not simply scale up to the grand vision of what CDPR actually wanted to do with the cyberpunk world and their plummeting stock prices followed by the devastating launch of 2077 made them realize that they have to gear up for a massive change in their approach and probably salvage some of the reputation from this awful situation. The first one they mentioned in this video is the upcoming next-gen update on the Witcher 3 game, which personally made me happy a lot. We were already getting news about the next-gen update for over two years via various leaks, but it's always better when we get an actual confirmation from CDPR. This update will be free. That means if you own the Wild Hunt, you don't have to pay anything extra. The confirmed release date is December 14th and I will definitely upload high quality Witcher 3 content when the update comes along. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification icon if you don't want to miss that. The next thing they talked about was something called a franchise flywheel, which is a term given to a gigantic move of making books, comic books, films, TV shows, anime, mobile games, merchandise, etc. CDPR is going full throttle on establishing a stable relationship with the fan base. With the recent success of Edge Runners, the anime, they want to move ahead with a vision of creating an ecosystem of entertainment where fans will have access to all types of media from different worlds, whether it is dark fantasy medieval era or highly advanced dystopian future. The only thing that is left in this plan are theme parks, which I think they might eventually get to once they go through few sequels and new successful IPs. I mean, could you imagine a theme park based on Witcher or Cyberpunk universe or any other new universe they end up creating that would be really great. CDPR has codenamed every upcoming project, so the first one they talked about was Project Sirius, a new single player game set in the Witcher universe which will be developed by Molasses Flood, a new indie developer under the umbrella of CD Project Red which will have multiplayer feature in it. With Project Sirius, CDPR wants to target a broader audience, especially gamers who are not that into single player or full scale RPGs, which sounds quite similar to GTA Online. The next project is Polaris. This one is based on the same universe of the original Witcher game that we all love. The story will be a continuation of the previous games. We kind of knew about this project for a while as it was confirmed by them quite a while ago via social media. And and most likely Ciri will be the protagonist of this new trilogy and whether Geralt will be in this new series and how much he will be in this that remains to be seen. CDPR is aiming to deliver three full-scale AAA quality RPGs within the next six years. The next one is Canis Majoris which is a remake of the first original Witcher game The Witcher which I think is an absolute slam dunk decision by the studio. Frankly the game is quite dated at this point and really needs a makeover with new engines. You see Witcher 
series was not that popular until the Wild Hunt really made that impact in the RPG section. Everyone was exposed to the world of Witcher after the win of the third game, and I think giving a new life to the original trilogy will be a precious gift to the gaming community. The next project is codenamed Orion, which is a sequel to Cyberpunk 2077. CDPR claims that this one will have the full potential of the cyberpunk world unleashed in this game. Which means that whatever ambitious cool idea they had in store for 2077 that ended up not getting included and features which literally broke the game from time to time will be introduced in the sequel and I hope they do better. Because this will be their last shot at this universe and cyberpunk is not a hollow generic sci-fi universe. It is a dense and unique world with unlimited possibilities and I hope they are able to execute it properly. Lastly, they talk about project Hadar or Hadar which is a brand new intellectual property and will be completely different from other games. No information has been revealed about this project yet but they are still in the concept stage. They have not started to make the game yet but the foundation of this project has already started. My first thought was a competitive shooter which is a quite obvious thought but then CDPR is too passionate about storytelling and will not go down the route of every AAA developer in the market. But what if they actually make a really good competitive FPS which has a unique storyline that remains to be seen. My second thought was about a space opera RPG similar to Bethesda's Starfield or Star Citizen. They can use the advantage of procedural algorithms to create a vast expanding world and keep the players immersed in the engaging storylines for a long time. And my last speculation is what if they make an MMORPG, a large online multiplayer world with unlimited potential and CDPR is quite talented to handle that kind of work. So this was all CDPR talked about and there will be more videos coming up for more games and game news. And if you want to stay updated, hit the subscribe button and see you all in the next one. This is Gold Canine, over and out.